Okay, so here's our word counts, and we're going to start writing the meat of our program, really the code that really matters, which is the streams app topology. So we're going to use the high level DSL as mentioned before. And remember that in Kafka streams, you have the key on the left and the value on the right. Okay, because every message in Kafka has a key and a value. We've seen this before. So the first thing you want to do is create a stream from Kafka. And you see on the right hand side, uh, I'll show you what this streams may look like. So for one data point, it may be the null key, okay, because there's no key, and the value is Kafka, Kafka streams. All right, why not? Then we want to map these values to lowercase. Okay, that means transform these values on the right hand side, and lowercase meaning you remove the capital K and you put a lowercase k. So now we have Kafka, Kafka streams, but it's all little k. Then we do a flat map values split by space. So this is a little bit more complicated, but basically what we want to do is transform that one message into three messages, okay? And that's why it's called a flat map. And each of these messages contains the words. The words Kafka, again the words Kafka, and the words stream, okay? Then we're going to do a select key. Select key is an, uh, is an operation to replace the key of a message and do whatever you want with the key. In this case, we want the key to be equal to the value, okay? So we'll have Kafka, 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 and again, stream streams. You'll see why. Because in Kafka streams, before you aggregate anything, you do a group by key. And a group by key groups your messages, your data, by key. So because we defined a new key before using select key, now when we do a group by key, the first two messages that share the same key, which is called Kafka, are together, and the last message, which is streams, is by itself, okay? But if there were new messages uh, with the same key streams, then they would be grouped. And now that we have grouped our messages, we can do what's called a count operation in each group. And the count operation counts how many messages are in each group. In the first group, we have two messages. In the second group, we have one message. So as you see, now the key is Kafka and the value is two and the value type has changed, okay? Very easy. And then finally, we're gonna write a two operation in order to write the results back to Kafka. So in seven operations, we are able to do a word count. Pretty easy, right? So that's just a high level uh, DSL. So we're going to do the programming of these functions, okay? It's not going to be hard. But I really wanted to provide you here a visual example of what happens to your data as it goes through these operations and how from the first line we got a word count in Kafka in the last line, okay? So let's get started. So this is our IntelliJ and as you see, I changed my uh, application to word count application now. I'm not in the starters app anymore. I just created my own word count app the exact same way. Okay, you can do this and the settings are exactly the same, okay? So I just wrote in comments basically what I want to do because it's easier for me to remember as I do uh, programming in front of you. And so let's get started. The first thing you have to do is to do a case stream builder. Uh, and a case stream builder is a way to write a builder application. So just so you know, uh, just so you're not surprised, if, if you are using Kafka 1.0, uh, which is due to come out in October 2017, uh, it's not going to be called case stream builder anymore. It's going to be called stream builder. Um, it doesn't exist out of 011, it will not change anything, okay? So please use Stream Builder if you're on 1.0 or Case Stream Builder if you're on 011. It's just a name, it's just how things were refactored in the Kafka side. Nothing for you to worry about. Um, this tutorial is still very much valid and the APIs are pretty much the same. Okay, so here we go. So the first thing we want to do is get a stream from Kafka. To get a stream from Kafka, you do builder.stream. And then you have a lot of parameters. As you can see, this function offers maybe 10 different parameters. So the easy way is to just say the streams of we want and the name of the topic. So um, word counts input. Okay. Uh, you could also set up uh, certes and everything, but because we've set up default and key value certes, we're going to keep this simple and just say we want to stream from this topic. If you didn't understand anything I said, don't worry, it'll make sense in the next few lectures and over the course, okay? To get the type 
of returning of this call. You can do Control Shift P, at least on my end, and it suggests that it's a Kafka stream of an object and an object. So we'll do case stream of string string stream. And we're actually going to name this uh, word counts. Okay, uh, sorry, word counts input. All right, so you just name it whatever you want, really. It does not very, uh, it does not matter very much, but good. So now we have to deal with this stream, okay? And the first thing we do is we map the values to lowercase. So we do word count input dot map values. Press shift, uh, press tab again to autocomplete. And here we have our first Java function to write, okay? So the Java 7 way would be to do new value mapper, press tab, and then right click and say, um, you can just do alt enter to, sorry, you can just do alt enter and say implement methods and then okay. And then it gives you this very, uh, very, very bad syntax. We won't do this. Okay, I just want to show you what not to do, but we can do what to do next. So the map value takes a value and a mapper. So we do value and we write the arrow and then we do value dot to lowercase. So what happened here? It's it's very important that you understand what happened. When we do dot map values, it takes as an input a lambda function. And that lambda function is right here. It's value gives value to lowercase. As you can see, value, it's inferred that it's a string. Okay, and the reason it knows it's a string is because our case stream is made of string and string. So, so far so good. So we have a value made of string and string. And now that we can deal with value, we can say, we want the value to be lowercase, so to lowercase. And that's it, really. Now, after this step, our stream out of this has the values as lowercase. So very simple, but I want to make sure that you understand exactly what happens. Um, there is also a syntax sugar, sugar to write as this a string colon colon to lowercase, but we won't explore this in this course. Okay, so we have our first step and now it says, oh, you could end it by a semicolon, but we won't do that because we can chain uh, calls. And to chain call is very easy. You do dot and you can say any other operation. So this next operation we have is flat map values. Okay, split by K by space. So again, the flat map values takes a function. It's a value mapper, um, just same thing we are. And it takes a value and you have to return a list of something. So if you take a, a list of something, for example, it'll be like uh, word, second word, and then whatever. Okay, this is what a, a flat map needs to look like. But we basically need to create that list of words. Okay, but that's very easy. What we do is value dot split. Okay, and you can split by space. That's pretty easy, right? That's a very easy regex. Uh, so we take our value, which is our string, and we split it by space. So always remember, look at this slide. Um, we had the map values lowercase, this is done. Now we flat map values split by space. So now we have three messages, okay? Here we go. So that was pretty easy, right? Now four, we need to select a key in order to apply a new key. So we will discard the old key. So what we do is select key. And as you can see, this is a key value mapper. And to do this, I do command P. So key value mapper takes two arguments, key and value. And you can name those whatever you want, by the way, okay? Um, this could very much be a text line, okay? And this could very much be a lower case text line. Okay, you're free to name your arguments whatever you want, really, uh, to make it very obvious as to what this is. So let's say this is a ignored key because we're not going to use that key value anyway. And this is our word. Okay, so we want the key to be our word. Remember how we had the key being null? Now we want the key to be equal to the value. So that's very easy. We do a select key. And from the input key and value, 
we just output the value. Okay. So all these are Java 8 lambdas that we saw before. And as you can see, it allows us to write a lot of very important transformations very, very quickly, which is pretty amazing. Okay. It may look like a lot of information right now, as in like, wow, he's doing so much in such a little amount of code. But I really want you to learn Java and know Java before you use this course, because this is going to be very hands-on programming, and this is more advanced programming, OK? Now we need to group by keys before the aggregation. So we do group by key. And you can set an argument to it, which is the key survey and the value survey. But we won't do it right now, because we have the default ones set. And then finally, we need to count occurrences. So we do dot count. And you can provide a store name. I always recommend you do. Let's call this counts. So let's look at what we did. We had a word input, and we did map values, flat map values, select key, group by key, and count. And we're done here. So we'll just have a semicolon. And we need to store that result. So what we do with a count is that it creates a k table. So what we'll do is we'll say k table of string and long um, word counts equals the word count input. And I'm just going to add tabs just so you see that the code is nice and easy. Actually, I'm just going to go right here and I'm going to reformat my code. Here we go. So we have the word counts and it's a k table. And we took the word count input uh, stream, we mapped the values, flat mapped the values, selected the key, group by key, and then counted. So we did all these operations in one line of code each. And it's been very easy. And out of this, we have a k table, we'll see what k stream and k tables really are. But right now, it's easy to represent it. So now we need to output this word counts k table to Kafka. And for this is very easy, we need to specify a topic. So we'll call this word count output. But we also need to specify two arguments, and they're very important. So it's called surdays. So before we said that the key and the values are going to be string, okay, we said surdays are string. But now that we've done a count, as we see our k table has string as a key, and long as a value It's because it's a number, right? So when we write to Kafka, we need to specify a different surdays. And we say assert is a string, that's for your key, your key survey. And then assert is dot long, that's for your value. So we're saying write this word count table to Kafka. And the keys are going to be strings, the values are going to be longs, and here is the target topic. So most of the errors you'll have in Kafka streams are going to be due to type errors. So when you have a string and it transforms into a long, but you forgot to tell Kafka streams that it has been transformed into a long. So you need to set those very well. It's a typed, a strongly typed library. Okay, so make sure you set those right. Finally, to just bring all these things together, the builder and the config, we do Kafka streams, streams equals new Kafka streams. And it takes two arguments, it takes the builder and the streams config which is the config. So here we go. We have a Kafka streams application, which was built from the builder. And with the config we created before. Finally, to start it, we do streams.start. And that starts our application. So fairly easy thing to do. Uh, we just started uh, creating our application. And now we just need to launch it. But wait a bit, I'm going to get there in a few lectures.